In this video, I talk you through my complete composition process. Great t-shirt, by the way, Tom. If you want to know why I'm wearing this t-shirt, I'll leave a link in the description below. I think I maybe, I think I should have got a bigger size than medium though. Either that, or not eat as many pies. This is my stills camera, Canon 5D Mark III with a 24mm lens on there. That's my normal setup for taking landscape shots. And this is my vlogging camera, a Canon G7X. So without stating the obvious, I video with this and I take stills with this. Now the thing is, I was actually struggling to create a composition. So I actually had this brainwave and I thought, why don't I actually film through my stills camera and show you guys the process that's going through my head when I'm trying to create a composition. How I find my original composition, how I work the composition, how I tune it, and then of course how I fine tune it until eventually I end up with a composition that I'm very comfortable with. Great idea, I'm gonna do more of it. Now, because I've shot so stacked to death, I've decided to come away from the normal stair shot, the gorgeous curly stairs that uh, people use as a leading line, myself included, uh, because they're absolutely stunning. So I've decided to come along the cliff edge a bit more and look for something a little unusual in terms of a composition. And I've found something that I really, really, really like. There's some small pink flowers embedded in the rock here. I've got a nice rock that juts out slightly to the left hand side that I'm going to put in the bottom left hand third of my frame with obviously the lighthouse in the far right hand side and I think uh, it's going to make for a very very nice shot. Focusing really close to the flowers to exaggerate the actual size and the colour and so on and so forth but because I'm focusing so close I'm now going to have to use a focus stack technique so I'll be shooting probably one up close one a third of the way into the frame and then one on infinity to grab that lighthouse but take a look at this composition. The flowers there which make really nice foreground interest with that little rock jutting out there sits quite nicely on the lower left hand third moving up then you've got the lighthouse in the background obviously that complements that picture beautifully and a rather nice sky in there so my focus technique here because I'm really close to these flowers is I'm going to focus there the eye is going to be drawn into those flowers so they have to be pin sharp but because I am so close, I'm then going to move my focus point to there, take another focus there, and then a, a final one, moving on to the lighthouse itself there. That's my composition, that's my shot, and I think that should be quite nice. Just want to say a huge thank you to Digital Lab for sponsoring my channel. Digital Lab is a multi-award winning professional online photo lab that offers you the perfect printed solution every time. Go on, do your photography justice. And if you use the code GG10, you'll get 10% off your normal and large format prints. My settings for this, F16, ISO 50, and I'm at an eighth of a second. And yes, even though I'm at F16, I still have to focus stack, simply because the flowers are so close to the camera. If you remember, an eighth of a second when I throw my 10 stop filter on there translates to a two minute exposure. So I'll take a two minute exposure to turn that sea into an ice skating rink as well, and maybe to blur those clouds, and we'll see how that looks. I'm, uh, I'm liking this though. It's nice when you go somewhere that you've been before and somewhere especially where you've been several times before because it makes you think outside the box and it makes you work just that little bit harder but uh, don't ever be afraid of doing that. When I put my 10 stop filter on there I remembered that I had my polarizer on there and my polarizer sets three stops of light so just had to make a quick recalculation so now my settings are ISO 100 I'm at f14 and that's given me a two minute exposure again i'm going to have to take three shots focus in close third of the way in and then on to infinity there you go so that one is ticked off i like that that's quite a nice shot so let's uh, grab me kit and let's have a wander around and let's see if i can find something else in the foreground to complement that stunning stunning lighthouse <laughs>
So we're walking along the cliff edge, looking for another composition. I've got some rocks that are jutting out just there, if you can see them, they're quite striking um, and quite strong when you get quite close to them. How many times can you use the word quite in a sentence? But look, let me give you my thought process because camera in hand and I'm going to have a walk around and I'll show you by videoing it what my thought process is. Camera to the eye, let's look for compositions, portrait, landscape, close, far away. Basically, we know the shot, it's the lighthouse in the background and we're utilising these rocks here, or I think these rocks here will make a very nice foreground interest. So let's fire this up with a video and hopefully I'll show you my thought process. So I'm looking, will something like that work? Um, probably not. If I get closer to the rocks, so there's an oddball shot like here for instance, so I could maybe think of a composition like that, maybe like that. That's interesting. Now it's a case of where I place this rock here in relation to the lighthouse there. So that would possibly work. It's a little bit busy though, this rock against the edge of the mountain across there. So I could come further right. I am restricted, you can't see where I am at the moment, but oh, I'm really restricted on this cliff edge. But I could come to somewhere like that and if I can manage to come a little bit, oh, a little bit further back. Yikes. Hang on. It's easier to turn around. Now, something like that could be quite interesting. Um, I'm zoomed out with my 24mm the best I can. So you're looking possibly at something like that. Drop the camera lower down and you'll make that rock more dominant on the left hand side. So that's an option. I probably prefer with the rock sat lower down in the lower thirds and that might make for a very nice composition. Um, yeah, so I think with where I am in terms of a restriction for movement, that's probably the best I've got on offer. Hang on, that is quite precarious. You, you guys can't actually see this. All right, okay, so what about portrait? Now, that's doable. That's interesting. Um, let's move across. That's doable. I quite like that. I like the relation of this bottom left against the lighthouse far right. And now if I come further back, pop it back round again. What about that? Let's move further across. Yeah, I'm pretty much where I started off. Again, I just don't like the relation with the rocks there. If I drop the camera down, that would work. Um, again, the one thing I'm not keen on now is these rocks here, they cut across the frame. Uh, it's more or less <laughs> moving the lighthouse to the foreground with the rocks to the background. Yeah. Um, I don't think that'll work. Don't think that works either. Right. I'm going to go slightly higher up there. Right now I've set my camera up. Um, I've got my portrait orientation, rock to the left hand side, light out to the right hand side, but now it's about fine tuning. I've moved the camera further down, but I am precariously perched on, uh, in, well, in between two rocks here, and it's quite awkward. But talking you through my workflow once again and fine tuning, I've moved down to bring that uh, rock and make it more proud away from the cliff edge. Except I have another problem. I just don't like that. I don't like the fact that this foreground and the background are not separated. In terms of rules of thirds, I want them sat something like that. 
So the only way I can accomplish that is by moving my camera slightly further to the right. That sits much nicer now, bottom left hand side of the third. That sits nicer. It's getting closer to the middle, but I could probably just do that to move it slightly to the right hand side. So now in terms of rules of thirds, that sits much nicer with me. Um, we've lost some of the leading lines out and in, but I don't mind losing those leading lines to gain a much more structured image. So there you go. That I think will work much nicer for me and that sits much more comfortably. So all I now need to do is level my camera up and throw my neutral density filter on the top there uh, and that'll balance that quite nice. And then focus stack, that's quite close to the camera. So I'll simply take a focus on that point there in the foreground, that rock, and then focus to infinity on the lighthouse there and combine those two images. That's my workflow, that's my thought process, and that's how I fine tune my images to eventually end up with a composition that I'm happy with. So my final calculations, I've got a three stop soft grad filter in there just to bring some of that detail down in the sky. That then gives me F14 at ISO 50 and an eighth of a second. And at, at, at an eighth of a second, when you add your 10 stop filter onto the front of your lens, that'll translate to a two minute exposure, which is, I think is ample. It's enough to flatten that sea out. You don't want longer and you don't really want less, I suppose. Um, and that's just a nice simple balance works well mm -hmm.